G'day, I'm Joel. I'm a personal trainer from Bondi Beach, Australia. And in March 2020, I had a tumour removed from my brain. I created this YouTube channel to bring motivation, support and insights to anyone going through a brain surgery journey of their own. I would love to help as many patients and their families as possible. If what I'm saying is helpful, please like and subscribe. Imagine hearing the worst news you can ever fathom to hear in your life and then you do not know what to do or what to expect. There's no guidebook, there's no rule book and there's a thousand different conflicting uh, articles when you Google it and there's a lot of scary stuff on it. It can lead you down some pretty unnecessary and dark paths. So I had another question that was thrown out to me and they basically wanted to know what to expect after finding out you have a brain tumor. First of all, expect your stress levels to go up, your fear levels to go up, your sense of the unknown to go up. It's, it's a very scary, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, it's a very scary, gnarly, stress-filled time. Uh, and you've got to try and do little things to mitigate that and try and stay in a positive frame of mind. Two quick things that I did, I meditated for 10 minutes every day and I had a daily gratitude journal, pardon me, where I wrote down three things that I was grateful for every day and this put me in a positive frame of mind and I never let that little voice inside my head say that this is nasty or dangerous or I'm going to die. I guess those were my three pieces of armor that I used to stay in a positive frame of mind through what is the most gnarly time of your life. I'll actually make another video on that. That's a whole other video we can fall into and go on an eight minute rabbit hole down that one. Um, but for now, this video is on what to expect after brain surgery. So you're going to have multiple tests, scans, your surgeons, your doctors, your GP, they need to work out right. What are we dealing with here? And what's the best path of action to give you the best outcome, the best potential future, the best uh, success in, in how we're going to mitigate and uh, stop the damage that this brain tumor can cause. So in my situation, I had what were called PET scans, um, which was like a, a really thorough MMI, uh, MRI of the brain. I had multiple MRIs, blood tests. I even had the back of my eyes checked because I think the surgeons could check if it had grown, grown from my brain and into my eyes, which I think is potentially common. But again, I'm not a neurosurgeon or a doctor. Please don't take my word for that. That's just my experience. Um, so you'll be going to multiple checkups, multiple scans, multiple MRIs. It's all going to be different. My journey is going to be different to your journey. All your support team is doing, they are trying to work out the best, safest, most health-filled path for you to move forward. So you expect a lot of appointments, get a new diary because you're going to have a lot of appointments to write in. You don't want to miss them, especially because you're stressed. You can become cognitively fatigued and, and quite forgetful. So write, write all your appointments down, write who they're with, where they're at, what they're for. Do you need to be fasted? Can you eat before you go in? Are you allowed to drink water? All these things your doctor will tell you. This video isn't to uh, generate fear or anything. It's just to give you a little like, nudge in the right direction, you just need to be organized. Um, after a while, your team will work out a path that they want to take to get you onto the best outcome possible. If that doesn't sit with you, or if that doesn't resonate with your values, and what I did, go and find another team and another surgeon who resonates with your values. So for example, in my situation, the first surgeon I was dealing with told me that he couldn't cut in and biopsy my, my lesion. He said it was nasty, um, but he didn't know what it was. And he said, let's just get uh, follow-up scans intermittently over every three months and uh, kind of manage it that way. In my head, I could not think of anything worse. I would just be stressed and thinking about it and I guess catastrophizing and constantly ruminating on it. So it wasn't until I was talking to one of my clients at the time, for those of you who don't know, I'm a personal trainer. So I was out training her and she's like, 
Go and see Dr. Charlie Teo. He is an expert in rare and inoperable brain tumors. So at the time, I'd never heard of the bloke, but I, I went and uh, I went and sent my scans to him, and he said he'd have a look at it. Um, good and bad news. So it was good that I was getting looked after, but it was also bad that uh, I was bad enough to uh, to see Dr. Charlie Teo. Um, but since switching surgeons and I guess health management teams, my outcomes, my my direction, and my stress levels were far, far reduced. Charlie knew exactly what he was doing. We were monitoring it. He said, look, if it grows, we have to cut in. But he explained all the physical and emotional deficits and symptoms that would happen. So I just felt like I knew what was going on. I felt like I knew what to expect. So my advice is, if you feel like you're going down a path that doesn't align with your values or align with your headspace, go and get a second opinion. Second opinions in this journey are vital. So guys, you may notice now in all my videos, I'm only answering questions that I get proposed by other warriors in the community because my wholehearted purpose and, and I guess passion here is to look after people who are going through the most crazy gnarly time that I've been through myself. So if you're one of those people or a caregiver or you're just curious about, about the whole journey and path yourself, please write your questions in the comments below. I will then read every comment. I will reply to you. And I'll also make a video like this explaining my insights, my education, and my aspect of, of your question and give you my advice. So guys, I want to help as many brain surgery survivors and brain tumor warriors as possible. The way you help me do that is a simple subscribe and like of the video. It takes two clicks, guys. Please help me help them. Alrighty, I'm out. Peace.